What are we doing right now? Just uh, hey, we're at Wally's, and this place is absolutely stunting on Bucky's, or it's at least competing with Bucky's. This burrito has bacon, sausage, eggs, cheese, pulled pork, taters, and tots. It's got everything. <laughs> oh, but we don't have anything like this in Canada, so we were like, we gotta film it. We uh, we just dropped off the S14 to the new owner James. We've been in contact for a while on potentially building him a car. So he wants to go and, and chase his pro career. Um, the S14 is kind of like the package that was already assembled and already done. He had originally contacted me to build a Corvette after seeing the Corvette that I built, but you know what, I was selling this. This is already done. It makes a ton of horsepower. It's been proven over the years and uh, it's pretty much hop in and go. Um, so I think you're gonna do like a body kit and some other things on it, maybe through uh, M spec or something. They've already they're working on it right now. Already putting the the Kevlar panels for it together. And so James is the proud owner. We're actually gonna test drive this tomorrow at a track that he's renting and just show him the ropes. We've got a couple D and D seats to throw in that uh, we're gonna install probably tonight. It shouldn't take more than five ten minutes to throw those in. And we're also picking up the new Corvette build, which is freshly caged by Cage Kits, Rob. Uh, the cage is a little rusty from being on the road, catching some salt and some water and stuff, but a little scotch probably will fix that up. James, tell us about your endeavors, your your stuff, what you've been doing, what you're doing now. So, I'm a, I'm a pilot. I'm a jet pilot, and I just retired from flying jets, and I had to have some adrenaline. And we came home from Dallas and saw a pro-am event go down, and I, I stopped and watched it, and I got hooked. I, and I knew I had to go this way, so. Yeah, drifting's one of those sports where you're always, it's it's kind of taken, it's a safe way to maintain your adrenaline addiction. But like a lot of dirt bikers, a lot of guys that did a lot of things that, that you know, was a lot of adrenaline. Drifting is their, their backup after injuries and after no longer being able to do it. So this car is a lot to handle, but I know you've driven some, I've seen, I saw some of your cars. We gotta show him that Cadillac that he's got. Um, supercharged LS3, it's probably pushing the same or more. 672 at the wheels. We'll go over a couple of the cool cars that James has, and then we're loading up this Corvette. Okay, so this is James's garage, a uh, little workshop here. And first thing I see is a 350. What do we have here, James? So it's a PBM car, um, full angle front and back. I call it my bullet car or the submarine. I, I bought it at the track that didn't tell me that the car had spent part of its life underwater. So I've been chasing all kinds of parts. I just picked that one up. It was a smoking deal. It's complete 60,000 mile car runs. In fact, I sent my two sons to Dallas for it. They got in it and drove it here. And that's gonna be a future pro car for me. So it's just gonna sit here until, until we get to that level and, and more, more, want to start building pro car couldn't pass up the deal eh? couldn't pass it up <laughs> i mean you know it, it was it was a smoking deal on the car and, and it drives and it runs when you want to strip this thing down for the transmission the diff everything the axles the drivetrain the harness like these cars are notorious for having wiring problems so if this car works fine people will buy the harness people will buy the interior so nice buying a corvette for a good deal basically sets you up to have almost a free drift car if what you plan to do is turn it into a pro car, basically make it look like this at one point yep. and then do all the things that I'm doing to it. Anyways, we're going to start. This time lapse could go really smoothly or it could not. And you guys are going to see. Tell me about it. This Hummer has portals. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see so that. the axle goes in the top, but the wheel bolts in the bottom. Okay, so there's gonna... a gear driven reduction yes, system yes. in the knuckle. And then it's got, <laughs> what do we have here? We've got an inboard brake on the axle. Look, Look at that, that dual piston action. Yep. And that is what gives you the better ground clearance. Look at the size of the spring on that thing. Yeah. This is an H1 diesel Duramax. This is for if dinosaurs ever come back, this is what you want. What's the curb weight on this thing? Your daily driver isn't on 40 inch tires. Don't talk to me. My All God. Right. <laughs> I'm a head out, man. All right, guys. We're here at a track. I think it's called Oklahoma Motorsport something. It's a big go kart track. Anyways, the expectations for today we are going to figure out what this track looks like. We're going to teach James the ins and outs of this car how to drive it, how to turn it on, how to shut it off, the kill switch, all of the, you know, little quirks that have to do with the car. 
Um, we're going to make sure that it's for the new engine transmission and diff are all operating correctly. Kind of run it through its paces. We'll probably drive it around for a bit first, warm up the tires, warm up the car, see what layout we're going to be doing. And then we're going to open it up and let her eat, uh, as you guys know that it does. So this, this stacker, what year is this? Is this pretty new? Yeah, this is... Uh, 22. 22. Yeah. yeah, so basically when we loaded it up, I had, I had never loaded a car that easy in a while. Uh, this little door here flaps open. You know how you get jammed between the wall and the door, especially with how wide these cars are. It took like two minutes. <laughs> it's it way too easy. I'm like, yep, this is this is pretty sweet. And this truck gets killer gas mileage apparently. It puts ours to shame. Yeah, and it weighs like 19,000 pounds, the Freightliner, yes. the red truck up there. So you wouldn't think it does because I have a 3,500, but then the 3,500 weighs like 9,000. This is double the weight. And he was flying. He... I basically was flooring it to keep up with him. So I'm assuming he's going to do the same thing in my S14 on the, well, it's his now, but I'm assuming he's going to floor it as well. And you guys are going to see what that looks like. We'll probably, we'll, we'll set up the GoPro inside. It's going to be fun. You guys are going to enjoy. Hey guys, well, I'm a riding passenger for the first time in one of my cars. I uh, didn't think about that until I was about to hop in with James and we just did an oil change. We saw some oil pressure discrepancies. Basically, it wasn't as high as I wanted it. So we checked the oil. It looked like it was a water, a little watered down. That can happen when you're running ethanol. When you're starting a car with ethanol, it washes it down. So it's a good idea to change the oil. We did, pressures are good. Now I'm riding shotgun in one of my drift cars and I'm kind of like, you know, it's a surreal moment. I don't own the car anymore. I feel strange because I really enjoyed watching him drive. He did amazing. Um, burning off the last bit of those Zacnova tires. We're running some accelerators. What'd you put the pressure at? 15. We're running some accelerators at 15 PSI. And uh, this car, it's it's gonna it's gonna skate around, but it'll be fun. So never ridden before. So I'm not a big passenger guy. Get your butt in there. Big driver guy. It looks like I just watched somebody give birth in reverse. Jack, wind it back. And my head is in the roof. My head's going to hit the roof with the helmet on for sure. Shout out to D&D for the dope seats. Yeah, these seats are... I guess I could take this pad out. That would help a little bit. Yeah, I might do that. I'll give it to you, Kyle. Oh, my, another birthing just happened. Okay, that's a little better. Now I'm a little hard on the butt, though. Right arm. Well, roll tad. <laughs> So this is James Dunn driving Josiah's old car. 